Arise, take up thy couch, and go into that house. That's what Jesus said to the man that had been let down through the roof by his friends. And Jesus had commended the faith of those men who were letting him down. And here's this man laying on this couch as described here or a conveyance or whatever it was. And Jesus said to him, first of all, he said, your sins be forgiven. Then, of course, the scribes and the Pharisees, they had a fit over that. And he said, well, what's the difference between saying thy sins be forgiven thee or to say rise up and walk? So Jesus said to the man, rise up and walk. And he did. Scripture says that he rose up and he picked up the conveyance that he'd been laying on and very happily he left that house and went home changed. You see, I think that every time that we go to the house of God, we ought to go home changed. That's that's my dream. That's that's what I I would just love to say, hey, go into the house of God, and I'm not gonna take home the burdens that I brought with me. And that should be my goal. I, I had a, a, an elder in the church one time, and he he was complaining. And he said to his wife, he said, there was a bad spirit in the church today. And his wife said, yeah, you brought it with you. <laughs> and I'm telling you, that's true. Many, many times we take it with us. And so often we go to church without even giving consideration of what we hope to gain from the experience. Many times it requires us to get out of our human element and to allow ourselves to enter into the world of the spiritual realm, believing that there are great possibilities here and the potential potential of something incredible taking place. You see, if everybody who goes to the church goes with that mindset, I have prayed, I have sought God, and I am believing that God's going to do something powerful in this service today. Well, you see, if we go with those type of expectations, then I believe that it would bring a motivation in our heart to want to pray toward that end. Want to pray for the pastor. Going to pray that that message that he's going to, or she, is going to bring forth, that it's going to have a great anointing to it. And that there's going to be a word there that indeed is going to be life-changing and challenging. I've prayed for that. I've sought the Lord for that. And now I'm going to the house of God with great expectation. And I believe that if we could have that mindset, well, our churches could become a very, very powerful place to be. It's Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.